this is a World War II era British Royal Air Force Special Ration Type C. With its contents being boiled sweets, a fruit bar, sweet biscuits, chewing gum, and oatmeal munch. This is a multi-purpose ration that could act as a carbohydrate supplement to a more balanced and complete meal, or it can perform as a low thirst provoking, quick energy emergency survival ration. Definitely has a nice little patina to it. A little bit of rust. Let's check this out. No hiss. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> oh my god, it still smells perfectly fine. Look at that fruit bar. Oh man, look at that little guy. Definitely gonna try out a World War II fruit bar this time. It's just in some generic wrapper. Look at that oatmeal munch. It's in some interesting smooth waxed paper. It's like a waxed parchment paper. <laughs> it actually still smells really good. I thought that was going to be foul, like a bleachy smell or something. It's not. <laughs> so this kind of is like the old school compressed oatmeal bars in a survival ration. That's what that, this is like a pioneering ration. And look at these little things. Look at those boiled sweets. These are incredible. This is in fantastic condition. Look at this. I can't even believe it. Look at this. The outer can looked so rough, but what's inside is fantastic. <laughs> Look at that can on the inside. It's mirror perfect. Well, just about, except for that little spot there, but it is absolutely incredible. That can, to me, the experience that we get here, and that can can go right back up on that shelf Nobody's the wiser. Well, except us here that's watching. Look at these biscuits. They don't smell foul. They don't smell like they've gone rancid at all. Which is just... That is something I've not come across with anything this age. Usually foods like this have shortening and fats in them. They usually go stale at the very least by this point. Check out this gum. It has a nice little tinge to the color. I think it might just be the wrapper. I'm not sure if I'm gonna open this gum or not. I really want to try it out. It's probably some incredibly all-natural tasting chewing gum. Look at this fruit bar. I mean it's totally turned black. I'll bet you this thing was probably always black and it's most likely dates, dried cherries, maybe some black currant potentially instead of the cherries. Who knows? It doesn't really smell like anything. That there is just amazing. Now that is quite a sight. And considering that everything smells good so far. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, so let's first start off with those biscuits. <laughs> These things, they actually still smell halfway decent. We'll see. Oh, well, yeah, maybe maybe they're not. That's kind of a shame. They, <laughs> after unwrapping them, they, uh, they really actually don't smell all that great. Pretty bleachy. Well, you get eight biscuits. That's pretty decent. Well, hmm. Well, hey, they're edible, though. I think. Well, they smell pretty awful. Yeah, they, they're dry. They're not very palatable. They're lightly sweet, mm, but they're not, they're not very good. Well, it's a small bite. You know, when that was fresh, that probably wasn't all that bad. Right now, it's, it's, a, it's starting to sneak up with um, a nice bit of foul. Mm. But like, again, back in the day, those biscuits were decent, but now, it makes me really need a drink of water. Sorry for talking my mouth full. Oh yeah, that's very thirst provoking, I must say. I don't know if it's because of the rancid oils or or what, but 
that's yeah, no big deal. I actually kind of want to clean my palate a little bit with a boiled sweet. Actually, um, I think I have to after that. It's really chasing with a, uh, a serious tingle. Mm. Yeah, that um, yeah, Buchanan's. I want to save the wrapper. Like, I really do. Check out this boiled sweet. That thing looks pretty natural. Mm. Well, you bite right in. It's definitely a still a hard candy. It has not liquefied. Mm. It has a fantastic all-natural orange flavor. Like an orange oil. Oh, hey, this thing softens up pretty quickly. It tastes like a lifesaver, but it's a thicker, larger piece of candy. That is a delicious boiled sweet. That had to be one of the best boiled sweets I've ever had. But I want to give this fruit bar a look. This here. I've always wanted to try a World War II era fruit bar. And the other one that I saved for my display, you know, it has, um, it says K-Ration fruit bar. This here, a little bit more generic looking, so. I'm definitely going for it. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. Looks like it was separated into maybe four sections, three or four sections, but I'm not sure really. Um, it's pretty interesting. Oh wow. That's serious. It's a pretty concentrated looking really old fruit bar. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's unreal. It's still tangy and sweet. No way. That's unbelievable. This is no joke. This right here is amazing. You know how you get a fruit bar to taste like that? Mm. You put it in a can for 70 years and you let it sit there. That's how you get that flavor. That is rich in so many ways. And all good too. I mean, it's sweet, it's tangy, it's bold. It has this like raisin fig black currant flavor to it. It's tangy. I don't believe it. This ration so far is blowing my mind. Again, look at this thing. You would think that's like disgusting. I mean, by the looks of it. Mm. When fruit oxidizes and turns black, don't worry about it. It's still good. I'll bet you that thing was always black. And if it wasn't, it is now. And um, it doesn't matter because it tastes amazing. So this oatmeal block, this oatmeal munch is what they called it. Oatmeal munch. All right, so let's check out this oatmeal block. This um, wax paper. The bar looks like it hasn't gotten too dark or anything over time, which is pretty incredible. Wow, look at that thing. Looks pretty good. Let's try it out. It smells, oh wow, it doesn't smell that great. Hmm, wow, that is like the original compressed food bar for like survival rations. It's still edible, it's sweet. The oils haven't gone foul or anything. Mmm, this is perfectly fine. It smells funny, it tastes a little bit off. Well, yeah, it's pretty much perfectly fine. I mean, for, for 70 years old, by golly, this is amazing. Mmm. Okay, this is, um, this is one of the most amazing military ration experiences I've, I've had yet. This is incredible. Um, yeah, seriously, I don't know what to say about this. Well, this oatmeal munch is still perfectly fine. It tastes a lot like a ration cold weather or USMRE oatmeal cookie bar from like the late 80s, early 90s. Hmm. But it's less sweet. Still perfectly edible. It smells a little bit off. Excuse me. Hmm. But I guess that's to be expected for being, I think this is um, 71, 72 years old, around there. Could be about 75. These cans, a lot of them had uh, tabs, you know, like with the little key. This one didn't have a tab. I think it's an older one. Um, they would have definitely not taken the tabs off of these things. I mean, unless they were having problems with them, and this is a later model. 
because those tabs were breaking. I mean, that happens. But those spam can tabs, usually these uh, special ration type C's have them. Mm. <laughs> the fruit bar, it's amazing. It's so tangy. It's mouth watering. This is the best fruit bar I've ever had. And it's over 70 years old. It's probably all natural. It's just dried fruit. And it's tangy. It's sweet. It's chewy. It's not bitter at all. It doesn't taste off whatsoever. It literally just tastes like a, a super good fruit snack. That last bite of the best fruit bar I've ever had. Mm. You know that part never gets old. You know, trying out its food that our grandfathers ate. Literally. I wouldn't doubt this ration contains at least a thousand calories. The very minimum, 800. Those biscuits are dense. Everything in here is pretty high calorie. Check out that gum. This gum, I can't help it. I have to try this out. That wrapper's beautiful. So let's check one out. Looks perfectly fine. Cool. Oh boy. Well, that's a bust. Hmm. Well, after about a minute of standing here chewing, I managed to get this thing back into uh, gum form. I mean, look at the center. Definitely back when gum was more natural. Look at that natural gum base. When things were just still a little bit more real, a little bit more natural. Back in the 1940s. Well, I have all these for my display. And as for these biscuits, well, I still gotta finish this one. British Royal Air Force special ration type C for you. <laughs> That's one for the books. From the outside of this can, you would have never guessed that the inner contents would have been so nice. Absolutely amazing. This is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.